So hey guys, it's Nico here, and uh, I decided to make a hot video. Most thanks to Infamous Aquatics, suggesting us to make a video about my uh, how I got into the hobby. Just got a shout out to you, hey, like the channel, and those little shells you have, they're so cute. Also that front toast, I'm pretty sure it's front toast, so it's not just correct me in comments. <laughs> Because there's a few similar species, I think, that aren't actual Fontosa, but they are, they look like them. But, um, anyway, so let me talk about how I got in the hobby. Um, when I first, I first loved my, knew my parents, well, when it was coming around Christmas, this was like five years ago, uh, my parents knew I wanted to get a fish tank. Originally, I wanted to get an Oscar, like, I just, <laughs> I just wanted to get an Oscar. My parents ended up getting, like, a 30-gallon tank, so that went out the window, and, uh, what I wanted to do, ended up get doing was I wanted to have an angel dwarf cichlid tank and uh, you know, get the little pistos and some rams and uh, that was my plan, but when I tested my water it turned out that it was high in pH and had a high mineral content, so I didn't want to constantly be changing the water every time I was doing a water change in the tank and I was like, ugh, okay um, which I didn't know what I wanted to do, I got discouraged and then uh, my dad ended up recommending, because he always wanted to keep uh, African cichlids and when I first started, I had no idea about African cichlids. Like, I mean, I knew, of, like, the name African cichlids, but I didn't know about any of the great, you know, great Valley Lakes, Malawi, Victoria, Tanganyika. And no, like, going to the hobby, looking at an electric yellow was, like, foreign to me. Like, what the hell is that fish? Now you look at it, it's like, ha, <laughs> electric yellow. One of the, you know, more common, one of the most common fish in the, you know, cichlid keeping hobby. And, uh, so... I did my research, you know, I got, I know I was just, uh, into the hobby. <laughs> but no, before I even got into the hobby, I was like, oh, wow, this is awesome. Look at all these people's videos on YouTube. And this one video, this person had this 30-gallon tank, and it had, like, these river rocks and, like, this Buddha statue, and it had these mabune in it. And it just looked so pimp that I was like, oh, I gotta get a tank like that. So I went, I got these river rocks, I put them in there. I went to PetSmart before I knew about, you know, don't get PetSmart Petco because their fish is trash. But at that time, their fish were pretty good quality. The one by my house. So, um, I got a couple of electric yellows and two bumblebees. And then I wanted, you know, I was joking with my uh, Mangano, but I wanted to get a bluefish. So I ended up getting that Mangano from an actual local pet store. And uh, I just was addicted, man. The interactions with these fish, how smart they are. They're nitpicking, you know. This one lives in this house. This one's buddies with that one, that one's an evil little sadistic fish, that Mangano, um, <laughs> a lot of stories with that guy, but I just got addicted, and you know, you know you're addicted, I'm sure most of you guys know, when you're on YouTube, you're, you're like watching on YouTube for like two, three hours, just looking at people, different people's fish tanks, and getting ideas, and how you're going to change your tank, or how you're going to improve your tank, or how you want to get a new tank, <laughs> and what you're going to do with that tank, and that was me, like, I, I decided I wanted to upgrade to the 55 gallon, this double stand I have, if you watch my uh, video, I got the 55 gallon up top, you look at the 30 gallon now, and I just wanted to get that 30 gallon, I ended up making, I mean 55 gallon, I ended up making a custom stand, I went to the drawing board and sketched out and made measurements of how I was going to do this and the wood I was going to get and the paint, and uh, I ended up getting making this custom stand to put in my room, and you know, before I knew it, I was getting all these different cichlids, and I was just addicted. Fortunately, I ended up uh, getting out of the hobby for a little bit because of just school and college, and I just you know, I got bored. You know, I got lazy and I wasn't really keeping my fish. So these are my last two two remaining fish I had from my original batch I had. And then obviously up here is my new guys. Me starting out new. The reason I made this channel was uh, you know I'm starting out fresh and new with these guys. My 55. I still have these old guys. I love them. One of my favorite fish. Great stories with them. Let me readjust this now. My tripod. Sorry for the shaky camera. But uh yeah, man, I just got into this hobby and it's one of those things, man. Once you go once you start, you never go back, man. In my opinion, once you go cichlids, you never go back. Maybe uh, maybe some people do or they just go into the salt water after this, but <laughs> for me, you, you always gotta have at least one cichlid tank in your house. If you're in, in really big in the Aquarium hobby because these guys are just so much fun, man. So much fun. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I'll be making more videos, random updates, like next day updates, too. Even though maybe nothing changed. Just hope you guys like that. And, uh, guys, we all love cichlids, man. Why wouldn't you want to watch a video about these cute little goddamn iPod? <laughs> 
These cute little fish. Little Charles Manson, that serial killer. Took out all his little buddies. He told me he'd be like, oh god, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, I started out, he really did not know what I was doing. But I think I learned, I'm, I'm better now. We're all learning, you know, guys got suggestions what I should do. I'm always willing to take suggestions. We're all community, right? So there's my cichlid, and that's a little bit how I got into the hobby. More like how I got addicted. <laughs> but, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Who knows where this channel will go. But, uh, yeah, man. Fun. I just look, I'm just, like, being quiet, because I'm just looking at him right now. I'm more, like, <laughs> looking at him through the camera, just amazed, like, oh, the amazing eye. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.